Marie from Titan Tiles. Do you love unicorns? Same. Let's build one using the Titan Tiles unicorn set. The first thing I do before any build is set out all my shapes that I'm gonna need for that build. This is a pretty big one, so we have a lot of shapes. This is also a great time to practice our shapes. We're gonna be using purple, blue, and pink squares. A square has four equal sides and four right angles. We're gonna be using the blue squares that have no center. We're also gonna be using our clear rectangles. That has two equal sides that are long and then two equal sides that are shorter. For triangles, we have a couple different triangles. We have our isosceles triangle. This has two equal sides and then a shorter side that isn't equal to those longer sides. We also have our equilateral triangles. It has three equal sides. And then we have our right angle triangles. If you wanna see if the triangle has a right angle, here's a neat trick. Take one of your squares, line it up, and those two right angles equals a straight line, 90 plus 90 equals 180. Now we're ready to build. For the unicorn, I like to build it right next to the edge of the table. It helps when we're flipping around because we're gonna be building everything laying down and then we're gonna stand it up. We're gonna start with the legs. You're gonna take two sets of purple squares a purple isosceles triangle right in the middle and then another one right on the side. Then we're going to take our blue squares, one goes on top, two on top of your triangle, we're going to take a blue square with a hole in the middle for on top of these two squares and then one more blue square on top of that isosceles triangle and then we're gonna fold it together so this one I'm gonna fold up to give us a base and then this one we're gonna fold down because well, that one's gonna be the base in there and we're gonna carefully fold it in. And then this side. And now we have one leg done. So let's put this over to the side and let's build our second leg. The other leg has the same setup, except we're gonna use pink squares and pink isosceles triangles. And then we're gonna have our blue square, our blue square, blue square, plus a blue with the hole, and then a blue square on top. And then we're gonna fold it the same exact way. We're gonna make our base. Make our base. And boom, we have our second leg. Now your legs are gonna have one side with the hole and then one side without the hole. So what you wanna do is make sure that you turn it so the isosceles triangle is up front and the hole is facing each other. So now we have two isosceles triangles and then two holes and it's ready to add the body. And now we're gonna make the center body. One, two, three, four pink squares. Now we're gonna make 
into a bigger cube. Now we have our body cube with the open sides and we're gonna match those up. Boom, boom. And now our unicorn body is ready to be stood upright. And this is where having the side of the table can be a little bit helpful. Just carefully grip it from both sides, flip it up, and now we're ready to build the rest of the unicorn. Now we're gonna create the base for the head. And that is gonna use our clear rectangles and a square. And we're gonna take it and fold it just like this and place it right on top of the body, just like that. And then the next step, now we're gonna work on the head. So we're gonna take four equilateral triangles and put them together like this. equilateral triangles put together like this and folded into another little pyramid. For the mouth we're going to take two right angle triangles and we're going to make one big triangle with it. And we're going to fold it. Folding it just like this we're going to line it up and now our unicorn has a mouth. A few more finishing touches. We're gonna take our right angle pink triangles. And create two feet for our unicorn. And then we're going to take our blue right angle triangle and give our unicorn a tail. Almost done. We're going to take an equilateral pink triangle and create an ear. And then what's the most important part of a unicorn? We're gonna add the horn. Voila. Our unicorn is complete. But I think we can make 